Hello, everyone. I'm Keith, and uh, Spike's going to cue. I don't even know what I gave him up there, so we're going to talk about some different things. Basically. <laughs> I, I stuck some good pictures in there just to surprise did you. Yeah, thanks. I don't care. It's like Spike said, mix it up from the last time you did something. I did. I gave him some other things, and that was a while ago. So, okay. Yeah, we got some of those things. What I'm going to do is talk about, I'm a commercial photographer. I'm into advertising. That's what I do. Um, I have clients come to me all the time. This is uh, something from Republic Steel. Uh, we, were, we were hired to go and rebrand uh, the Republic Steel people going into the plants. We were dealing with, with fire. We were dealing with molten steel pours. I mean, we literally were at points where the pour was happening in front and I had to pull camera out. I couldn't grab the tripod. I continued firing from a, a man door where I was able to escape and continue shooting while the pours are happening. This is one of the instances, but you get, you get too close and you continue working and doing the job that you're hired for. And it's fun. But what I've taken off of this is, um, or where I want to go with this is, when I get to shoot things like this, it sparks my interest. And my, and my real passion, I get up every morning and I want to take photographs. I want to create something really new, really unique. And these people inspired me in the mills here. I mean, these people have more courage than anyone I've ever met. At least I thought so at the time. I said, these guys are incredible. The girls were incredible. It's just, I had to get something unique with them. And I found a real piece of America when I started shooting these people. And the photography with them was exciting. They tell me their stories and we just, we just had fun. So Lynn and I have learned when we go on these locations, I don't, we don't, we don't dress like management. I'll always ask for the hard hat that the workers are wearing, or if I'm going to a rodeo or working, I'm gonna dress exactly like the same people out there that I'm working with. It's blend in, become a part of the community that you're working in. So, I'm starting to work on a book called Americana. The steel workers sparked it. The rodeo in Santa Fe, they hire us, and we come out there and work with them on a yearly basis. I get to work with these cowboys. I mean, we've seen these guys, and it's, it's fun because they're more like the old Marlboro ads than anything else, but it's fun to work with these people because they're, again, they're so entertaining, but they're also so courageous. These kids get out there, and they are so tough. They get on horses. I, I, was, I was in the back working with some of the kids in the back after he'd been riding a bronc. We had to tape his shoulder back and he pulled it out of its socket. And he couldn't figure out how to get his, he wanted to ride again because he needed to win enough money to get back home to Texas. So I'm back there working with him and we're taping his shoulder. And it's the kind of people that you get to work with and the, and the spirit and the attitude is just so intense. So it sparks me and it makes me want to continue making these images. So I keep looking and I keep trying to find the next, the next group of people that I'm going to be working with. The Cowboys, we're going back again in a few weeks here. Actually, my birthday, June, June 15th through I think like the 20th, we're gonna be working with the rodeo again. And these are, these are real characters. These guys don't go out there with helmets on. They don't go out with too much body armor. I mean, where do you get to see people like that other than the United States? I mean, this is, this is cool stuff. This is really cool stuff. So I go, I, up, I applaud the, the Cowboys. We've seen horses die in, 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 in the rodeos. We've seen the bulls get hurt. We've seen, everything has been just crazy. So gracing out of the rodeo, I'm gonna move you on into the salt flats at Bonneville. If, if you, folks have never been there, it's like experiencing the Grand Canyon for the first time. It's this awesome thing. You can see the horizon view when you get there, the curvature of the earth. It's white salt. And these guys, they, these are, th actually this guy's from Elyria, Ohio. I met him out there. We were brought out there by a German uh, who was working with the California motorcycle racing team. This guy, Gunther. Incredible character. Get to meet this character, we get hooked up with another guy. His name's Brock. He's running a 54 um, chopped Buick. It's really incredible. You'll get to see some photos of that in a few minutes here. But the fact is, these guys, again, are Americans following their dreams. These are true, tough individuals. There's no money being made out there. These people are bringing their stuff out there, and the only reason they're there is to break a world speed record. These are guys that are competing with each other, but then if something breaks down, they're there to help each other. And I've never seen anything like that before either. So now I've got steel workers, and I'm going into the rodeo guys, and I've got these racers like this. The next people that we're working on into is the farm community. And I want to go out and work with the farmers. But then again, I'm heading back to Bonneville for two more races this year <laughs> and getting to work with guys like Foley here. I mean, where do, you, where do you get to see stuff like this? If you haven't been there, it's really worth a side trip sometime when you're out west to go and visit 
the real Americans. And I'm just going to let a couple more images float by here. Everything that I do, though, is, um, is a passion. And I think that it's really important in all of our lives that whatever you've chosen to be your lifetime career is to maintain that spark that made you choose it. So, again, I wake up every morning, I want to pick up a camera and create something unique and something great. It's my passion. Don't ever let your passion go is where I want to bring this to. America is wonderful. Keep your passion flowing.